So you guys are kind of coming down the stretch here. Do you feel good about the way you've maintained focus game game by game rather than get caught up with particular opponents and, and, and standings? And I ask partly because you've got to tackle Cal before you yep. tackle Stanford, which is the game I think a lot of people outside the program are looking forward to. Um, I think we're doing a really great job of staying focused. We're never thinking of a game ahead or the NCAA tournament, Pac-12 championship. We're never thinking like that. We're always game by game. And right now we're focused on California and that's it. We're not even trying to look forward to the Stanford game. And I think that that's worked as a really good framework for our team. And it's been really positive so far. So keeping up that kind of sequence of things, it's been, it's been good. You guys have been beating teams the way you have over the last few weeks. I mean, do, do days go quicker, do games go faster, or does it kind of slow down a little bit? Um, I think it's it goes quick. I mean, we were away for five days and it just went that fast. I mean, we're going away for another five or six days. So I think it goes super quick and I feel like we're always going to another game. We're always focused on the next game. So as soon as we finish the other one, it's kind of hard because we can't celebrate because we've got to think about another game coming up in two or three days. So it's a quick turnaround, but I mean, it probably works better because we're not focused or not dwelling on what's happened and we're not trying to get our, our egos on up because we're trying to focus on the next game so it's been really positive. Have you had time to kind of diagnose your game you know every time you guys at least kind of get back or get a few days and see where you can keep improving? Yeah for sure I definitely focus individually and stuff that I can improve on to help the team but it's mainly just trying to think about the next game straight away so I don't really go in depth with all that stuff and kind of just focus on what's next. So what's your thoughts on Cal? Um, Cal were a tough team to play against at the start. I mean, the scoreline probably didn't show that, but every team that we play against is tough, and they're a type of team that, as you can see, they beat uh, UCLA. Did they beat? I don't know. They bet <laughs> someone, they bet like someone uh, one of the top top teams. So I mean, that they can <laughs> <laughs> they can come out and beat anyone. Like they're such a they're a strong team, and we can't take anyone lightly. You guys played a game without Taylor. Coach said it sounds like she dodged a bullet long term but you know he's not 100 percent sure when exactly she's come back does that put a little more on your plate not having her in the rotation um that definitely gives me a bigger role in the team when she's out but i mean i just need to step into her place and kind of mimic what she's been doing because it's been so positive for our team and it's been so good to have her off the bench because she's been coming in and doing something really positive so i just need to be able to do the same thing and try and make sure there's no like a hiccup in the rotations i'm sure you and taylor every team you've ever been on before this team started you know or were the best player on most teams you were on How, how's that adjustment been having a role on this team I kind of like it actually yeah. um so yeah from back home I feel like I've been a part of teams that where I have had to have the ball in my hands play 40 minutes that type of thing but it actually hasn't been a huge adjustment because I mean we both realize that the type of players that we have on our team and we both know that we're not going to be the stars and we know that where the ball should go who needs the ball at the right time so I think that we've fitted in really well to know that that's not where we need to step in right now but hopefully further down the track that could be our position and we're ready to wait.